What's up guys, Justin here with the realtimeessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to quickly place objects using physics inside of Unreal Engine. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I've got an asset pack here. Um, and what I wanna do is I wanna randomly place some hay bales, um, or not even randomly, but I wanna place some hay bales that don't look super uniform. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag a couple of those in from my library. You can do this with whatever assets you have, but I wanna drag these in just like this, right? They all look a little bit different. And so right now, notice how they're super uniform looking, right? Um, they're just kind of all in there and they kind of look exactly the same. I don't know what that one's supposed to be, but they, they all look exactly the same and they're not very interesting, right? Well, what we want to do for these objects is we want to add physics to them, right? Because if we add physics to them, what it's what uh, Unreal Engine is going to do is it's going to simulate the actual location of those objects. And so you can do that by selecting an object, going to details, and clicking on the option for simulate physics. And we're gonna see, I think I can do a shift click and select multiple different objects at once, and then I can simulate physics for all of them. So now if I take them all and I move them up, then when we run our game, they're going to fall, right? So notice how they all fall like this. But that's not exactly what we want. What we want is we wanna use a different mode inside of Unreal Engine. So there's a little drop down right here, and there's an option in here for instead of play, um, which is going to take you to play the game in the level editor viewport, if you click on the option for simulate, so that's gonna simulate all the things in your scene, like physics or your particles or other things like that, directly inside of this viewport. So it's more of a simulation than an actual like play mode. Notice if I click on stop though, that these hay bales now reset to their original position. And so what we wanna do is we wanna use the simulation mode to place these objects and then once we're done with that, we want them to stay in that location. So first off, what I wanna do is I'm just going to kinda of add a little bit of random rotation to these. So nothing massive, but just enough that they're not all exactly the same, you know? So I'm just going to kinda of move these around a little bit move this one over here. One thing you do wanna do is you wanna make sure that these aren't overlapping when you do this, otherwise you'll get some kind of like weird results, like things flying off into space. So um, we don't want this to be overlapping with this other object. But once we have these in here, they're ready to move around, right? We're ready to simulate them. So if I click on play right here, notice how they're all going to fall like this. And so the problem with that right now, and these are falling a little bit too far, so they're kind of like bouncing all over the place. But the problem right now is if I click play and then I click stop, they reset. But if you take an object once you're done simulating it like this and you select it while the simulation is still running, you can tap the K key. And what that's going to do is that's going to save the current state of your object. So like for these two objects, right? Notice how as soon as I hit the K key, now those have been updated with the new location information in here. So now those are gonna stay in place. They're still gonna get simulated when we run our physics simulation, but that doesn't really matter because they're on the ground. So now if I click on play again, notice how these new bales are going to fall down in a different location. Well, then I can tap the K key and save the state for those as well. So now, if I want to run this simulation again, I can move this down and click on play. I'm gonna run it one more time with this a little bit further back, like this. Then I can tap that K key with this selected in order to save that state. So those have now all been placed using the physics inside of Unreal Engine. All right, so this is a quick, easy way to place objects using physics in Unreal Engine. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions, if you're using a method like this. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.